guys, it's Gamer Amber here, and today I have some really cool items to show you guys. <laughs> so these pickups, you do not want to miss out. I have someone else joining in this video, and I can't wait to share these awesome scores. So we'll just start out with the original Xbox being one of my all-time favorite systems that I used to play back in the day. I finally scored Steel Battalion. Now, not just this game, this amazing mech game, but I scored something much larger than that. And I found this for less than a few hundred dollars. So <laughs> this right here is something insane, incredible. And you use, you know, this 40 plus button controller as you're inside of this mech, you're like in the cockpit. It really feels like this immersive, you know, gameplay of this. And you have all of these pieces here this green button controller, and that's not all because everything just hooks together. You have this foot pedal action as well. It really makes it feel like you are like inside of this game. And I love it because it also came with this really massive, you know, Capcom right here, the Steel Battalion. We have this crazy guidebook where it kind of like shows you the instructions on how to operate this thing. There's just so much to do in this game with all of these buttons and it takes a lot to you know kind of get involved in it did you get this like when you were a kid type of thing <laughs> yeah. yeah so like i got this when i was like so it's like original owner yeah yeah it's me I, I, it was only me that owned this that's awesome i may have bought yeah yeah it's me 10 stories tall and armed to the teeth yeah it just it looks really cool and i've always wanted one but i never i never knew I guess like too much about it type of yeah. thing. But this right here, having everything complete in this amazing box, this is insane finding this as these things go for like crazy amounts of money, hundreds of dollars, over $500 if you have it in the box. It's just so bizarre and so insane, but they didn't do anything else like it. So just having this piece right here, getting it from someone who said that you know, they got it back in the day. They only played it for just a little bit. And it still even has like this, like, you know, seal that was barely broken. The game looks to be in perfect condition. All of this stuff was in the original, like, packaging as well. So it really looks like this person barely used this game. This is an Xbox franchise that I would love to see come back today. And I mentioned that in one of my videos where I talk about tons of Xbox games. But this was such an amazing score and just something I finally got around to. And I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Have you guys ever played on a Steel Battalion controller? And that's not all because the craziness continues. I actually scored this. Now you might be thinking, oh, cool. Game players, Sega, Nintendo, you know, you have Sonic and Knuckles and you have this like crazy image of Knuckles just going here and using some spray paint to cross out Nintendo. You know, during a time where you had that crazy console wars going on, you had Nintendo versus Sega, but right here is something so spectacular that I have. This is actually, <laughs> this is so wild to have the original artwork on this amazing piece. So having this to match the magazine, this artwork that was originally used back in the day for this particular magazine and some other Sega items out there. This is just so wild. It definitely screams out 90s in your face. You have Sonic and Knuckles, the spray paint, making it show that Sega is more hardcore than Nintendo. Just showing this crazy time and having this original piece of history right here, this like amazing art, just so incredible to find these amazing scores out there. And that's not all. So <laughs> we'll just go ahead and welcome my friend from across the sea, just across the ocean to a magical place where there are so many amazing video games, items and everything else. So go ahead and take it away. Thank you so much for having me on your channel and I'm excited to share with you one of the coolest retro game hunts that I had back in 2023 when I visited Retro Sector, which is in the south west of our country. I found loads of cool stuff, including these cool Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lampshades, as well as these incredibly obscure 
Bart Simpson shoes. Now I'm a UK size six and these are a UK size four, but I simply had to buy them because I thought it just oozed 90s and that's what I am. I'm a girl that loves the 90s and I'm definitely stuck there and I knew that these things would definitely fit the aesthetic of my lady lounge. Not only did I find that, but I also found this really cool Nintendo watch. Now I remember a lot of my friends having this watch back in school when the 16-bit console generation was popping off and the conversations were Nintendo versus Sega, or rather Sega Mega Drive versus Super Nintendo, and this watch kind of sat back in the background of it all and everyone had one except for me. I wasn't one of the cool kids unfortunately, but I did pick up that watch from Retro Sect, as well as a bunch of really cool retro games, including this, albeit a um, repro, really random Super Nintendo cartridge, which does work. So there was lots of things packed down there on that retro game hunt. A couple of things that I mentioned um, that I was, and I'm excited to get back down there again. So once again, thank you so much for having me. My name is Gemma. You can find me online at thegebs24. Cheers, everybody. So those are some fantastic scores and finds. I would love to visit some of those conventions and stores over that way. Just seeing Simpsons, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all of that stuff really brings it back to me. And if you guys want to see more, make sure you check out her video because I shared some other cool finds that I recently picked up. But this right here is a store display banner. So this would have been displayed in the movie theater back in the day for this right here. If that didn't give it away, this is Doug's movie. So this thing is massive. This is like a giant banner and <laughs> I just can't believe it. Disney presents Doug's first movie. So this thing is taller than I even know what to do with. And it's huge, massive, and so is the other banner. So make sure you guys go over there and check that out because I had a great time picking up some of these amazing finds. So of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out all of my other videos and stay tuned for more. Bye.